Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Life with Titian. I'm gonna talk to you about where I'm getting these books. I find a lot of times when I first started my channel, I was like, wow, booktubers got money, the big book. Because I'm like, where are they getting all these books? And let me tell you, my name is Brie, and where is free is Brie, and that is where I like to park, on the lane of free and Brie, okay? Right in the corner, that intersection right there is where I live. And mainly in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about how I get books, you know, where I get my books, and you know, kind of the science, not really the science, but like my logic on how I choose to get these books or buy these books or whatever the books are. So first, let's talk about where these books come from. So if you're watching me talk about a book, or if it's in a wrap up, or I'm doing a single book review, most of the time I'm getting these books from the library. So I will get them from Libby. I don't use Overlook anymore. Stop using that years ago. Overdrive, sorry. I don't use Overdrive anymore. Stop using that years ago. But I get them from Libby and I also get them from Hoopla. So those are like my main sources of where I get my books. Now if we're going to branch off, I did recently get Kindle Unlimited, but I think I'm going to cancel the subscription. Like I got it maybe two months ago and I don't even Kindle that much. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I don't really like to read via Kindle. There are certain things that I just don't. Something about a Kindle don't, don't pull through to me. I might have to get rid of my Kindle Unlimited because it's not doing for me like it would do for other people. So I don't typically go there. Another place I get my books from is I am not afraid of a used book. Listen, there are rare that there are new books in my collection. And the only reason there are new books in my collection is because I got them as gifts. For example, I got most of the Rick Riordan series on my shelf. Most of those books I was gifted. I do love them all except of the Red Pyramid, Crane Chronicles, whatever Chronicle series. That wasn't it. But most of those were gifted to me and I think I may have purchased one. I can't even remember. I think I may have purchased one but I put them on my Amazon wish list which I think is a great tool for people to have is a wish list. If you're not into Amazon and you're trying to move away from Amazon like myself, I hear you. I hear you. So you can get another wish list somewhere else. I'm trying to figure out where I can get another wish list. I was trying to do a wish list thing with Bookshop and somehow it didn't work so I'll just have to figure that out some more. But wish lists are very good places for you also to get books. And you can also share that with your family and your friends also when your birthday comes around or if you're like, hey, <laughs> treat me. You could definitely do that as well. And I know that comes with some anxiety too because people be like, I don't want to ask people to buy me things. I was definitely one of those people. And then I was like, I'll just put it out there. If people want to, they can. If they don't, they don't. And that's fine. Like I'm not forcing anybody to give me books off a of wish list. That is where most of my new books come from. I'm using a friend scrib. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest about that. And I'm getting a lot of my horror ebooks, not ebooks, audiobooks from Scrib. So that's where I'm reading those books. And I don't know why Scrib have such a large section of horror audiobooks, but I'm here for it. And shout out to you, Nicole, for letting me use your Scrib. And then another thing I use is Chirp Books. I will live and die by chirp books you understand i'm talking about breathe in air and take it out i love chirp books so much i'll put the link down below it is a fantastic resource for finding very cheap audiobooks like i usually get audiobooks from 199 or below because they be having these limited deals these sales all these different things i got the whole like um Giuseppe may series by alexia gordon for 199 each. I, it was a great day for me. <laughs> I was a living and I'm still reading that series because I think it's about seven books in that series. So I'm just saying chirp books is where it's at and you don't also have to go on there to get mystery books. You can get of any genre, fiction, nonfiction, just get whatever you need because chirp books have it. And they also have discounted books as well. So like maybe Audible is like, hey, we're going to charge you $35 for this audiobook. And then, you know, chirp books might charge you $26. $26? American? Yeah. No. So 
I just be waiting. I'm a waiter for a deal, okay? Like I said, where it's free, it's free. And wherever I can get a deal, I'ma get that deal. I'ma try to get that deal. There's some places and certain things that I'm not as cheap about, but we're talking about books. We're talking about books right now. So let's, let's stay on top. Another thing is if you get your channel or even not even your channel, your Twitter or your Instagram or whatever social media that you're using, if you get over a thousand people following you, you can also sign up to be a Libro FM partner and then you can get access to like seven to eight audiobooks for free in the beginning of each month, okay? And if you're a librarian, you get more than that. So you can definitely holler at them to get more free books as well. There are authors that I will most definitely pre-order. For example, N.K. Jemison, The City We Became series. I saw on Twitter that she sent in or she sent in book two that is being pre-ordered. Aiden Thompson, anything that human has written, I am pre-ordering. It's just, that's how the math is mathing for me. There are new releases. I don't pre-order them typically because I don't know the author, but there are BIPOC authors that I'd be like, let me help out. Pre-ordering helps out so much. So there are some times that I pre-order, but I will say out of the year, I might pre-order five to six books. I don't really pre-order a lot of books. And typically when I pre-order, they're typically all, you know, people of color, people that I pre-order their books. Because even though I love Karen Slaughter, Karen Slaughter ain't hurting if I don't pre-order one of her books. She all right, she'll be okay. So it's it's not it's not one of those things, but like a debut mystery thriller or horror or Aiden Thompson, I'm like, yeah, let me, let me go ahead and throw this cash up at you. Let me just throw this cash at you. And then, you know, maybe the seller list, whatever they are, will just thrive. I don't know, but that is just how I think of it in my mind. So what have we learned today? We've learned that I barely buy books. <laughs> I guess I should have just said that. I barely buy books and I usually use the library. The library is my first defense. It's where I go first because to me, I that's, it's just easier for me. And I know that there's a lot of countries that don't do their library system um, similar to the way we do it in the US. I'm interested to know how y'all library systems are run because you know, I just want to be informed, but I adore Libby. I think Libby is the best thing since sliced bread. And I also love Hoopla because I am starting this comic journey and I'm trying to just consume all the stuff and the way I be reading comics. Woo! I be, there'll be like a day I'm finished like six. They can be expensive, those single issues. They can be expensive, even the volumes can be expensive, but somehow Hoopla is like, hey, how you doing? And I'm here for it. I'm here for it and I go ahead and I just read them on Hoopla because it's just accessible for me. We've learned that I shop on thrift books. Thrift books have used books. They're real cheap. You can get free shipping for $10. All you gotta do is spend $10 and then free shipping, the books come to you. You. There was only one time thrift books let me down is when I was trying to get all my black classic books so I can do like these pictures and stuff and show people what the books look like and they just sent me a bunch of like how to deal with diabetes when you have type O and it was like seven books and I was like is the world trying to tell me something and then I realized that it was a mistake and then they just told me to keep them but I ended up donating it to um the nearest uh, thrift store because I'm sure someone need those books and if you can get them for a dollar instead of probably more expensive than what you pay for it on thrift books maybe like buy two or three dollars but still you know the thrift store is gonna give it to you for like 50 cents or something so that was my logic so I just want to say tell me in the comments how you get your book where your books come from you know if you be having to put yourself on a book buying ban I have never done that no shade no tea to nobody who's ever done it but I I, I just be who let me tell you I spend my money on other stuff that is could be a uh, 17 videos but it won't be this video so thank you again for those of you returning thank you again to those of you who are here for the first time have a wonderful day don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will talk to y'all later bye